Rachel Sullivan and the New Shalom Church. Thank you guys so much for having me on tonight. How many know there is a word from the Lord on tonight? And it's found if you have your swords in the book of Acts. Chapter 16. The book of Acts. Chapter 16. Amen. Y'all don't make it too hard for me tonight. Those of you who do minister and preach or maybe sing, you know it's hard to get in front of people and they just sit there and look at you and I got a witness in the building. But with the help of the Lord, I'm going to do my best on tonight. And you give me a couple of amens. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And glory to God. And I promise you, I'll be on out your way. Amen. Acts chapter 16, and we're starting with the 23rd verse. And once you have it signified by saying, whoop, there it is. If you need a little more time, tell me to hold on just a second. Amen. Acts chapter 16, verse 23, and it says, And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open yes. and everyone's bands were loose. Yes. If you would, please go with me for probably about 10 minutes and help me preach this sermon. I got a praise and I can't keep it to myself. Wow. You ought to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Say, oh neighbor. oh, neighbor. Say, the preacher needs your help tonight. The preacher needs your help tonight. And I need your help too. Because I've been through the storm and the rain. But I got to praise. And I can't keep it to myself. Now you ought to give God praise right there. Amen. We as Christians must understand that praise is something that helps get us out of a lot of situations. When I look up the definition of praise in the student's dictionary, it tells me that it means to applause or approval, admiration, to say nice things about someone, or to compliment. So therefore, we give God praise because we know he is worthy to be praised. But what we as Christians fail to realize is that when God put us in certain situations, yes. he sometimes does it just to test our faith. Yes. Do you not realize that you have the power to speak to your situation? Because the Bible tells me in Proverbs chapter 18 and 21 yes. that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The Bible also tells me in Mark chapter 11 verse 23 that I have the power to speak to my mountains and tell them to be thy removed. I must also tell you that God inhabits the praises of his people. Psalms 22 and 3 tells me that. Now as I was preparing this sermon on today for tonight, all I could think about was Paul and Silas, how they was bound in the Roman jail. Oh, yeah. This particular Bible story begins the unjust arrest of Paul and Silas. They were cast in jail because they cast a spirit of divination out of a girl. And the local Philippian authorities beat them and threw them into the jail cell. But I'm so glad on tonight that because of Paul and Silas' praise, it got them out of that prison. According to the standards in that day, it tells me that the prison was more like a resemblance of a dungeon. It said it was a dark, damp, stench-ridden place with no facility for waste or comforts of any kind. 
Yet in spite of the throbbing pain in their bodies, the disheartening atmosphere, at midnight, Paul and Silas yeah. were heard praying and singing praises yes. unto God. Yes. What a strange sound this might have been to some of the other prisoners because all they was used to was more prisoners in there just moaning and groaning because of how they had got beat. Somebody ought to shout suddenly, though. Suddenly. suddenly, the Bible tells me that an earthquake had came and it shook the prison. Yes. And the doors flung open and immediately yes. all the bands were loose. Yes. Aren't you glad on tonight that yes. when you begin to praise God for yourself, yes. sometimes God will bless you for, ble for being a blessing to somebody else? Have I got a witness here tonight? So the Bible tells me that when Paul and Silas prayed and they praised unto God, not only did their bands become released, but all the other prisoners' bands were released. Their praise not only got them out and loosed them from what had them bound, but it also helped the others as well. Now I have three key points for you on tonight, and my first key point is praise elevates us into God's presence and power. Praise elevates us into God's presence and power. Paul and Silas knew the secret of how to lift their hearts above their troubles and enter into God's presence and his power. Through praise and worship, I must tell you, their hearts were raised into the joyous presence and peace of God and provided God a channel for his power to operate in their circumstances. Yes. Now I told you earlier that the Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you is God dwells in the atmosphere of his praise. Right. I must tell you on tonight that the Bible tells us that where two or three are gathered, touching and agreeing, he will be in the midst. And I must say on tonight that if you need God to do something for you, you must praise him on tonight. Amen. Many times we come into the house of God like God owe us, but I'm so glad on tonight that God don't owe us anything. But how many know we owe God a praise because it's because of God that we are still here on tonight and we're able to lift up our hands and give him praise. The Bible tells us that we should enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. We must be thankful unto him and bless his name. I'm so glad on tonight that the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit usually becomes evident and subsequent to a time of worship and praise. Some think that worship is a response after the Holy Spirit moves upon them. However, it is the other way around. God's presence responds when we move upon him with worship. Yes. Lifting up Jesus Christ through praise and worship invokes the Lord's presence and power to flow in our yes. midst. Now I got to move on because a lot of y'all just sitting there looking at me all crazy and I knew that was going to happen tonight because God had already spoke to me on tonight. But I must tell you that praise transports us into the realm of the supernatural and into the power of God. I'm so glad on tonight that after everything that I've been through, I'm so glad on tonight that i got a Savior and I call his name Jesus. I'm so glad on tonight that there is a man that sits mighty high and looks down very low. And every time that I'm going through, I'm so glad on tonight that I can get down on my knees and call upon this man. My second key point for you tonight is praise to God is not, is a lifestyle. Praise to God is a lifestyle. 
All too often, praise to God is something that many people leave at church. Can you praise God in the supermarket, I asked on last night? Yeah. Can you praise God at work? Can you praise God while you're driving down the road? Have I got any praisers in the house on tonight? Have I got anybody that can look back over your life and you see where God has brought you from and you can give God a shout on tonight? Realizing on tonight that you could have, you should have, and you would have been there. But simply because of your praise and your worship, God made the deaf angel pass your door. But have I got a praiser on tonight? Can you help me praise God on tonight? Can you give God a shout on tonight? Can you give God a shout on tonight? Can you help me praise God?
drove three and a half hours on yesterday just to get here and give God praise. And I know once I say what I'm going to say, I know somebody going to come up to me and tell me, hey, don't worry about it. But you don't understand. What you don't understand is you just don't understand. Now, if God, if Jesus was standing here, I think a lot of y'all would miss God. If he was standing right here, I, I, I just, I believe that. And I'm just calling it the way that I see it, you guys. I don't understand. I really don't understand. I studied both day and night to give God praise to feed to his people. And they just, I don't understand it. I really don't understand I know y'all ain't never saw y'all ain't never met me. I, I, I understand that. But if God can use an ass, surely he can use me. I might not fit your criteria. I might not dress or act the way you want me to act. But I'm so glad on tonight that God had mercy on me. And he saw something in me. And he called me out of darkness into the marvelous light. And I'm so glad of that on tonight. But I pray, I pray on tonight that the little bit that I did give you on tonight that you received something that wasn't even my whole sermon on tonight I had to go another round because of the way some of y'all were sitting there looking at me on tonight and you guys just I don't, let, let me tell you this I don't care about you getting mad at me I really don't care but I guarantee you if you were standing in the same spot that I was standing in, and folks sat there and looked at you all crazy, you would say the same thing that I'm saying on tonight. But I pray for nothing but blessings upon you on tonight. That God will touch your heart on tonight. That he will put a fresh anointing in your spirits on tonight. The doors of the church are open. Thank